The Bantu Expansion, a significant demographic and cultural movement unfolded over millennia, shaping the African continent in a profound way. Originating in West Africa, the Bantu people embarked on a remarkable journey that spanned thousands of years, covering vast territories and leaving an indelible mark on the societies they encountered. Today, we explore the causes, roots, and impacts of the Bantu expansion, highlighting its transformative effects on African languages, economies, and societies. The roots of the Bantu expansion can be traced back to West Africa, where the Bantu people emerged. Archaeological evidence and linguistic connections suggest a distinctive cultural and linguistic unity among these communities. Their early society was characterized by agriculture with yams and oil palms playing a crucial role in sustaining their communities. Several factors propelled the Bantu migration. Population pressure, coupled with an agricultural revolution marked by the adoption of iron technology, created a need for new lands. The Bantu people, armed with advancement in agriculture and ironworking, sought out territories that could support their growing communities. The Bantu migration unfolded in multiple phases. The initial migration occurring between 3000 BCE and 1000 BCE saw the Bantu people moving both eastward and southward. A second phase from 1000 BCE to 500 CE witnessed further advancements in iron smelting and the penetration of the Bantu into Central and Eastern Africa. The Bantu expansion had a profound impact on African societies. Linguistically, the spread of Bantu languages created a linguistic continuum across a vast region of the African continent, leading to cultural assimilation and the formation of new identities. Socially, Bantu communities introduced kinship systems, village structures, and clan organizations. Economically, the Bantu expansion brought about transformative changes. The introduction of ironworking technology revolutionized tool production and facilitated agricultural innovations. Slash and burn farming practices and the diffusion of crops such as millet and sorghum transformed local economies. The Bantu migration gave rise to political centralization with the emergence of chiefdoms and kingdoms. Trade networks flourished, contributing to economic growth and cultural exchange. Religious beliefs also underwent syncretism blending Bantu spiritual practices with those of indigenous populations. Interaction with indigenous peoples were characterized by a mix of conflict and cooperation. While there were instances of conflict over resources, there were also opportunities for cultural exchange, integration, and intermarriage, resulting in diverse and dynamic societies. The Bantu expansion's legacy endures in contemporary Africa. Linguistically, Bantu languages persist as a dominant language family. Economically, agricultural practices introduced by the Bantu continue to shape farming landscapes. Culturally, the impact on religious practices and social organizations remains evident. In conclusion, the Bantu expansion stands as a pivotal event in African history. The movement of these communities across the continent brought about linguistic, economic, and cultural transformations that continue to influence the diverse tapestry of African societies. The Bantu expansion represents not only a historical episode, but a testament to the adaptability of African cultures in the face of change.